We're hearing a lot about wearing masks in public because of COVID-19. I hope this video will be of help to you. The COVID-19 virus is not alive. Think of it as a chemical or a powder. To come alive and grow and make you sick, the virus needs to get into your body's cells. It enters through your respiratory system, your nose, your mouth, and perhaps your eyes. When we're physically close to other people, we inhale each other's air. A person sneezes or coughs at the grocery store or is standing close to you and speaking. Their respiratory droplets spread to you. One of the challenges of COVID-19 is that some people have the virus, are contagious, yet they don't feel sick. So they go about their daily business feeling fine but are potentially infecting others. A mask is a barrier that keeps their respiratory droplets from spreading. To be safe, I assume that I'm in the presence of COVID-19 wherever I go, but there are low, medium, and high risk environments, and the environment determines what mask is best. Say you're outside alone or are taking a walk through your neighborhood your risk is low. You probably don't need to wear a mask to stay safe, but there is still a small risk. Someone could run past you on your walk and cough. So I wear a bandana like this. When I do my daily walk and runs, the bandana is comfortable on my skin and I can pull it down and put it back. And when I come in from my run, I take it off and put it in the laundry hamper to be washed before I use it again. And then immediately I wash my hands. Now, indoor public locations like the grocery store are a medium risk environment. Someone who may not even know they have COVID-19 can cough or sneeze. And if they're not wearing a mask, their droplets hang in the air and they land on you. And that's why I wear a cloth mask like this every time I go out to a public location. This creates the best barrier. You need the mask to have several layers of tightly woven fabric, not just one layer, and you need to put the mask on. Fit is important. Your mask should fit snugly but comfortably against the side of your face and around your nose. Try to minimize gaps between the material and your skin. Be sure your mask is secured with ties or ear loops, but be sure that you're still able to breathe without difficulty. Wash your hands before you put it on and after you remove your mask and avoid touching your nose or your mouth when I come home from grocery shopping, I grab the mask by the ear loops, not touching the material, and put it immediately into the laundry hamper for washing. I then immediately wash my hands and make sure I'm not touching my face. As a physician, I also have a surgical mask, a respirator. I wear this when I'm in a clinical setting or the hospital. These masks are for healthcare workers and other medical responders who are in very close contact with COVID-19 patients or those who might be infected. Unless you're in healthcare, please don't buy these for yourself. These masks are in short supply and they need to be saved for those working on the front lines. Cloth masks provide protection for you and others around you. So until we have a vaccine to prevent infection, to be safe, we must get into the habit of wearing a mask anytime we leave home. Be smart, be safe, and be well.